I think without doubt one of the key things that I would like to state today is that it is there for all to see that Kenya's democracy has matured, our institutions have been able to withstand not one but two elections uh, in a row, that our judicial system is functioning and is respected by all institutions and all quarters and therefore I believe that uh, Kenya is a country that is on a solid democratic path with a view of continuing to strengthen and respect our institutions all of which are key ingredients towards creating an enabling environment for business. Over and above that we have continued reinforcing the investments that we have been making in our infrastructure, our road development, we are very much on course on delivering on our 10,000 kilometers of road, which we believe will help really open up our country. The railway line from Mombasa to Nairobi is complete. We have moved in the four years from 32% of our people being able to have access to electricity now on a figure of 58% and without doubt our target is that within the next four years 78% of all Kenyans will have access to electricity. We have also focused heavily in our health sector and are now moving in this second part towards what is a universal affordable health care which again is a key ingredient doing all the changes that we need also in our education sector to make sure that our young men and women are properly equipped for the possibilities and potential of the future. Our investments continue in the telecommunication sector, which is critical for your businesses. With regard to our doing business environment, we have over just that four and a half year period, moved from number 130 now to 80. And my target for my friend here is that we must be 60 and uh, second on the African continent this year. So there is great room for these public-private partnerships. Mine is to tell you that this is the right time to be in Kenya.